call this deck Oreo. Uh, call it what you like. Let's see how it goes. Best two out of three, too, so we can move the deck around a little bit. I like the idea of subbing in green cards. Just fuck with him. What about Invoke the Divine? Yeah, that might be a good one to main deck, too. The four, four life off that. I kind of forgot that it had life gain on it. We'll see. That could definitely come in on the sideboard and get some value if we have targets for it. That would be a good one to trigger the angel. All right, um, that looks like an easy mulligan for once. Looks like, uh, I don't know about an easy keep, but it's a keep. I need white land. Let's get rid of the dude. But a one and a two, it's playable, waiting on white land. Feels bad, no angel. Why did the noise just cut out randomly? Okay. Give me the health. Yes. Don't like the double draws off blue so far when we have a slow game ahead of us. Where's my land? We managed to get it land screwed again, by the way, for the uh, eighth consecutive game. Sure. All right, so we lost. Two Invoke the Divines are coming in. Question is, do I want Angel or Draw more? Presumably draw. But I just think the first time he hits me with any removal, maybe his removal will be blue and it will be like dwindles. Okay. All right, rip two lands and so we just drew him two cards. Sure. Card's really strong. Maybe he'll have a games where he gets fucking three land screws in a row and loses for that. I'd enjoy that. So we have Rise from the Grave for the, the Angel too. He's like, what do I do with 25,000 cards? Not a sorcery, it's not an instant, unfortunately. So I definitely need to draw lands here. Draw last, easy game. All right, looks like we can start triggering agent. 
Why no activate angel? Why no count to six? All right. Strew him again. Got rid of murder and epicure of blood. Kind of bad news for us. So the priest draws are pretty sick here. Can rise from the grave of the epic here. I probably need to rise from the grave of the angels so we don't lose this game. It's my suspicion. All right. Would have been really nice as a land. So it triggers counts itself, right? So that's five. So we're good. More lands gone. Fucking card is insane. that land he did it in the nick of time I guess it's too bad I don't think Epicure is relevant to this Oh, I can probably do that in his turn. Oops. Sure. All right, let's get in for four. Drew him two more cards. I guess he's just hitting stuff like that. He's pretty low right now, though. Enough that I can just attack with everything next turn. Or just double vampire neonate him. Or both. Sure. Take a 4 4 scholar that scries for next turn. He's got four blockers. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six attackers for me. Can remove one of his defenders. Presumably gets me in for one point either way. Maybe instead of raising the skeleton, I should have picked vengeance. I don't know. He 
Yeah, it's a point of damage too. It didn't instantly quit. I wonder why. So let's say he has one disperse. And he blocks one. He's him at nine. Can't gain five life in any way, right? Right. Gain four life. If Johnny's welcome, we could gain five life. You think give us life when it enters? That gives us life when it enters the field. We don't have eight mana though, so we can't play a rise and a blood letter. Yep, get a priest killed. It's a good idea. Don't know he's going to be killing any priests, but we'll see. All right, let's just go ahead and swing. Not worried about counterattacks. Sure. Want to change anything here? I don't think so. Uh, how many creatures do I have at the end of all this? One token. We got the chaplain. We have a priest. Three. We have six. It's fine. Still expecting a bounce. Normal endurance. Do I care? Gets two more scry out of that. Good strangling spores it. I think I prefer the token. Is it the same either way? Oh, it comes in and play tapped. That's a good call. No, but till end of turn. Okay. All right, sure. Let's resolve this. It's a really good point about the uh, still one off killing that with what I want to do, but sure. So, too bad that one mana is an issue here. Take Vengeance is really solid there. Can I just kill him anyway? Could have killed him, maybe I've blocked that. And, uh, did I just not count? I think I just didn't count. I think we just tapped two here. I think it's both the Neonates, so I think it actually is a... Uh, I don't think it's a heal at all, as much as it would be nice. So we've seen uh, tons of artifacts and uh, let's get this out of the way. I suppose it's probably a flying attacker first. Game is there some way he can gain life through attacking? He can't cancel these, right? I guess he could gain life through a spell. Go. Like Or not. Okay. So a little ridiculous with the patient rebuilding there. So I don't know about you guys, but I think a couple invoke the divine sounds good to me. Um, what else would I like in there? What do we want to pull for that?
Hired blade doesn't seem that useful. Don't know about revitalize. Card cycle, I guess. I want the other hired blade out. I guess I'm pulling two hired blades. That's a lot of creatures we're removing. He didn't seem so super creature heavy though. I think that'll be okay. Falcon and the Scarring. I don't want either of those cards in my deck right now, no. I think that'll do. Okay. Um, do I want to put one more white mana in? I do. Right. Do low on creatures? Maybe. So we get to sideboard in between. Uh, this is a best of three match because we're playing. I uh, got tired of getting fucking endlessly land screwed with no recourse. When it goes first. I can live with this hand. Just gotta draw some lands. We have a couple ways of drawing cards, right? Or at least one way, anyways. And then there's a slight crackle from the mic. Hmm. Interesting. Uh, do I need to cycle cards badly right now? Mm, probably not. I can probably hold this. Although we're going to get no value out of either of these cards. Maybe I can't hold this. Sure. Some creatures would be nice right about now, huh? Maybe I should have dropped the Revitalize for one of the Flash creatures and left it in. I already have the life gain off the Destroy uh, Invoke the Divine. Oh, he's mana screwed. Maybe not. All right, uh, I'm drawing this turn. Sure, you can anticipate if you want. It's fine. Just hurry the fuck up. All right, what is flood? Easy game. Okay. Oh man, you tricked us. We were gonna do something entirely different. So you took 45 minutes to anticipate. <sighs> sure, sure. Okay. It's a double drain from him, single drain from me. Can I draw? action of some sort that will do just fine odds it gets countered here about 100 percent Ooh, shocked okay more anticipate sure sure I believe this guy's a slow and steady type. Sure. Think it out. Get five mana. Four cards. Could be any combination of plays available. Oh, no plays? 
Joke's on you, I've got 20,000 mana. Joke's on you, sir. Good one. I almost drafted that. Maybe that was our last deck that it's got hose before we could do anything. Okay, well, I mean my plays are easy. I just play the land that I draw every turn and pass. So that's exciting. Alright, we're hit every land drop. We started with two, we hit every single land drop, and we're only on uh we got eight lands still. Sure. Okay. I like it. Mm hmm. It's not so good for me right now. We're both going to have normal endurance here. He's got a million cards. There's no way it doesn't happen, right? Sure, what you got? Another anticipate? Sure. This is insane, just because it's so much bullshit. Like, I just draw lands over and over and over again. Two top, zero bottom. All right, we've just drawn back to back like nine lands. All right, let's flood out. Getting to be my limit of lands today. I can't even put pressure on the ground. If I had both these creatures in play, I can't get through the neonates. Is he looking for creatures? What I just saw him do? Ah, another land, of course. Okay, we've now hit uh, eight land drops in a row with two more to go. There's a way that bot will calculate those odds and I'm excited to hear what those odds are. So I bet you it's pretty likely. Started with two in hand, remember, of these two. Just played the top card off our deck for every single round. <sighs> sure. Not a land, but not a card either. Okay. 
running 17. We have 10. I mean, what is our ratio right now? We have 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Is that really it? 7 playable cards and 10 lands. Yeah, it is. Had 7 cards and 10 lands. I don't think we can draw anything that helps us now. That certainly will not be one of the things. Um, I'll heal again. Seven playables, 11 lands. Just continue to get flooded. It's not that likely, probably 5% of you are not. Jesus Christ. Let's try to not be retarded. There's literally a bot in channel that will do your, uh, your, uh, your math for you. And uh, if you want to throw out things like 5% just because it seals like a number that you think like makes you look good or I don't even know, like makes you feel better about yourself. I'm not quite sure why you think like 5% is an accurate number. All right. I think we're about to lose here. And if you, uh, you want to talk about not that unlikely... How about the last nine games in a row? I guess the last game wasn't a mana screw. And I think there was probably six losses in the last six. No, because we had two wins and three losses with that deck where we were mana screwed every single five. So it's three, five. So it's uh, nine out of the last 10 games, right? We've been uh, land screwed. That's pretty unlikely. Just the Scholar. Sure. Yeah. Sure. Show me more of your deck, please. Okay. Let's gain a life. I can feel good about it. He's not got a draw card. We're 100% dead on here. Are we waiting for anything in particular to die to? I don't think so. I think we can just go ahead and concede that. All right, I am gonna pull that, uh, put that, uh, put something back in here because I gotta, I gotta deal with that shit. Uh, fumigate, let's see, draft. Um, okay, so we're gonna pull the take ven, not take vengeance to revitalize. Uh, Swift claw, maybe three one. Do you have any one combat strength creatures? No, he's got some two. Is this Swift Claw worth anything? Is Johnny's worth anything? Is our creature count right now? 12, yeah, so low, man, so low. Let's get that up a little bit more. I think three is actually challenges board just a little bit. I, think, I, don't, I don't see us winning through attacking with land creatures on the ground. I just don't see that as a win condition for this deck right now versus his deck. So I can put these in for days. Maybe we get some damage off the one. That might get us a little bit of value. We might get that Sphinx down. The Sphinx has been in play twice. It's a 4-4 four, four flyer. It'd be nice to kill it. All right. It can discard. Maybe. Maybe the value game there with discard would have been good. I'm feeling weird about what to cut, though. All the things that are going to win me the game are spells. Maybe we don't need quite as much recursion. I don't know. 
So our plan has been to kill him with the angel or kill him with life drain effects. And he's got as many life drain effects as we do in all likelihood. So I don't know that that's going to work. He's had a couple of threats that were nasty. We saw that sea serpent. I guess that's not that nasty, but all right, let's just not get mana screwed. That would be the easiest thing. I go first. There's a creature, there's removal. Sure, let's play this. We have three mana and a creature. Like I'm so excited, it's unreal. This is the first time and this is this is maybe game two out of 11 games that we're gonna have uh, not flutter screw. We'll see, we only have three in hand, so it's not guaranteed. Looking pretty solid right now. Look at this gloriousness. Am I going to kill the Neonate this turn? No, I'm going to develop the Sky Marcher. But I'm going to consider killing that Neonate later. Uh oh. Incoming Essence Scatter. No, it's Anticipate. We've seen 25 Anticipates in his deck. Maybe he's considering the Neonate too. Alright. Do I murder it though is the question. So, out of threats. So I'm really just hoping to draw my angel, huh? This is a questionable call. I want his uh, Neonate off the board. If I'm trying to drain him out, I don't want him getting small amounts of health here. It clears the way for the, the pinging damage. Just, yeah, there you go. Cast it, you know you want to. You know what I'm talking about. Patient rebuilding. Fuck you. Fuck you. That's brutal. All right, let's get rid of my debuff. Okay. I guess he only got murder for it, so it's okay. Yeah, that's an issue. Save recursion for that. Is he looking for creatures? You got a neonate in your graveyard, bro. I've got a murder in mine. Cure blood. Sure, it's nasty. I guess he didn't attack me because there's assembling skeleton would just block it. 
Presumably that means he's going to be attacking now, though. Is that play only as a sorcery? Sure is not. Okay. No. Okay. I can't grave digger his guy. So Sphinx ends our game for us right now. It's fine. is do I grave digger here I guess I could have put it into play I guess I'll do it next turn to put it into play I mean I can stop him attacking by playing grave digger I think the problems are still exactly the same like I'm not worried about the four extra damage from taking this right now and I am worried about what happens if he gets an answer to blood letter so an answer that destroys blood letter does this all attack cancel both it seems crazy Sure. I think now I play it because he's now I can flood past one more defender. He's at one health. So, I guess the threat right now is the minus two to everything. That's the only instant I think that I care about. So I think, since he hasn't left the game after saying good game, I think he's baiting that. So I think I'm gonna go just for the blood letter. Nope, he just really was a good game. Okay, we're gonna grind that one out. I don't know that we feel particularly good about that one. All right, guys, need a quick break. Back in a minute. 